was supposed to be a day to agree the budget for Scotland, touted as the, green, the greenest budget in living memory, um, as well as being a real distribution of wealth from you know, Scotland's richest to Scotland's poorest. Instead, we've been dragged into yet another SNP day of drama. So Kate Forbes, according to former Conservative, Scottish Conservative leader Ruth Davidson, has just set fire to her leadership campaign on the very same day that she started it. She, of course, did say that in an interview last night, repeated again today, numerous times, I may add, that she um, would have opposed the same-sex marriage bill passed in 2014. Um, and later today with Sky News, she had told them that it was wrong for children to be born outside of marriage. Um, this does not seem like a, a sensible way to be digging themselves out of a hole, certainly. And those supporters that you mentioned, Richard Lockhead, uh, Minister for a Just Transition, um, he had supported Kate Forbes earlier in the day yesterday and then obviously after last night said that he agreed we cannot have a party leader who would vote against same-sex marriage. Yeah. Same for Tom Arthur, who's MP for Renfrewshire South. Um, the list goes on. I mean, she has said she regretted the pain and hurt caused by her comments, but, of course, she did make it clear that this was an issue of conscience for her because she's a member of the, the Free Church of, of Scotland. So, um, you know, it is a, a, a sort of core belief, perhaps, for her. But it's intriguing, then, that Hamza Yousaf, who many may think now is, is the front-runner, uh, of course, he'd promised to stand by this... Um, controversial gender recognition reform bill and challenge section 35, which many think is, is what's done for uh, Nicola Sturgeon. So we, we've got a, a quite an intriguing um, political and religious situation developing, if you like. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of commentators have actually said that, you know, if we're not careful, this debate could take quite a dark turn into at what point does the, can polit politicians hold levels of, of high state jobs um, while being, you know, involved with religion. Now, certainly, you know, I don't think anyone would argue that somebody of a religion couldn't hold a high level job. Yeah. So at what point does that come in and influence policy? Um, certainly just on the GRR that you said there, um, certainly Forbes and Ash Reagan, one of the other um, candidates for the role of SNP leader and First Minister for Scotland, they both signed a letter to Nicola Sturgeon in the first phase of, of this bill, um, you know, outlining their, their disappointment that this was going forward. Ash Reagan, Reagan famously left her role in, in the government as a result. So I think whether we, we like it or not, um, this religion issue is now at the, going to be at the centre um, of this campaign. Kate Forbes has said it's not going to impact her, but, you know, that that's about four, four backers that she's lost in the last 24 hours. If I may just turn to David Linden MP, um, he tweeted earlier today that he was preparing to fast for Lent, obviously being Shrove Tuesday today, um, and he said, you know, there, there's a whole piece I could write in my views regarding separation of faith and the state, um, but my immediate concern is that folk, especially my LGBT friends and colleagues, know that the central tenet of Christianity is love. Um, and certainly, I think then he is also showing that there are some clear fall-away point here where there may be an opportunity for, for Kate Forbes to get back on track with this okay. campaign. Oh.